Hello everyone. In the last few days I made quite a lot of changes for OpenXR Toolkit source code and recompile it for the new version. It's mostly for sim racers because as far as I know this title was aimed for flight simulator, which are a very different VR usage, so some of the very useful things were missing. And uh, First, let me show you how to use it in game. Then I will show you how to install the base on OpenXR. Then my mod, how to set the companion up uh, so it has a bit better usability. And in the end, I will show you a way how to use it with any titles which has SteamVR, but not native OpenXR VR. So it can work with any title, but let's start with AC Evo as it's very performance demanding and it's a good way to show the, the changes and the issues which I solved. So let's start AC Evo. So you can reach the OpenXR toolkit by pressing Ctrl F1 maybe by default, but I changed the settings to control down. I will show you how to do that. First, let me go to this menu so I can make it a bit bigger so we can see it nicely on the stream. Uh, there are quite a lot of settings here. Let's start with menu. You enable expert settings so you can move it around a bit but not many useful things there. In performance, you can do FPS, which we will do, and a few other things, which I will come back. But first I want to show you the big changes, which is field of view and override resolution. You could do field of view. Let us hop into properly in game. So what the toolkit does as FOV, it for the stream, it looks like it uh, stretches the, the window while during you, uh, when you have your headset on, while when you have your headset on, it feels like it's squeezing it. And that is exactly what it does because if you change the resolution to custom, you can see it does not change, but it calculates that we have super sampling the one to eight percent. Because this does not, the FOV in the normal mirror doesn't uh, decrease the resolution. And that's what I changed. That you can decrease the FOV quite a lot. It can go below 50 now, so you can crop even half of the screen. And uh, yet you can go to crop to FOV and it calculates you how much resolution you need with that much FOV to have native res for your headset. And that's what we will exactly do is go to like 40% up, 38 and like 54 down and restart the game so it doesn't look stretched on the stream. And we are back in the game after we restart. And as, as you can see, it does not cover the full 4K projection of my streaming. Uh, so we have cropping and the the scaling is sort of okay. I have to tweak it a bit so it ha because it's not a, a linear scaling, but it does some cropping now. We have 1,447 vertical pixels, and if we go to performance, we can see it has like. 
5-6% headroom and my max 80 FPS. So quite a lot of gain for basically giving up watching your leg and the roof of the car or the sky in this case. So other things you can do in the toolkit is uh, FPS. You can set the target frame rate here so it can calculate the headroom. You can do upscaling, but this is a special upscaler. So not a temporal upscaler like DLSS 2, 3 or 4 or FSR 3. It doesn't use previous frames and just light wiggling to to reconstruct uh, resolution data from previous information. It just upscales and try to do some trickery. But if you really need to gain performance, I suggest to go FSR, enable anamorphic and decrease the horizontal uh, vertical resolution. The human eye by nature is not as sensitive for horizontal resolution changes and it's more sensitive for vertical. So you, like if you would do this, it would lead to 3072 by around 1K. So that's quite easy to drive for mediocre GPUs. But I usually don't have to run anything with my 4080 Super. Full weighted rendering does not work in AC Evo. It doesn't work in a lot of titles. It looks crap with FOV cropping and uh, it, it's not as big gain as with FOV cropping. Uh, turbo mode disables VSync and usually crashes your game. Uh, you can do some statistic recording and you can do high res statistic recording which will decrease your performance uh, quite a lot. And you can see a lot of um, responses that uh, OpenXR Toolkit is decreasing FPS a lot. Uh, many times this settings does. You have post-processing where you can do some contrast and saturation. This is basically free to do, like performance-wise, so feel free to do it. it. It can improve the looks of the game quite a lot. Uh, input, there are prediction. By default, uh, mostly on screens, but sometimes you can find that the movement is quite jarring. And if you decrease it a bit, it will smooth that out. My stream is struggling a bit with the recording. But uh, it changes. You start to see it around 40% minus. So, yeah. Don't use it if you don't have to. And we talked about this, uh, the rest is not really important and you can exit the menu by going exit menu in any menu bottom and control left or right. So let's go to the desktop so I can show you how to install it, how to set it up, how to install my mod and how to use it with titles which doesn't have uh, native OpenXR support, so you have to use OpenVR Composite for it. So first you have to download the OpenXR Toolkit, the original one from GitHub. Just search for OpenXR Toolkit. Go to GitHub. It is made by, I don't even try to name Matthew and Jean-Luc Dupuy and a few beta testers, very nice programming from them. It, it's a very, very nice tool. I The changes I made is because this was mostly done for uh, flight simulation where they use the full FOV and probably they did not get the input that uh, racers could use lower FOV for VR. So we just go for the page search the download part, download the latest. This will download an MSI, which you just double click, next, next, you agree. And this is a signed MSI, so it won't drop any false alarm. Uh, 
the program will uh, install to C program files open XR toolkit and the DLL we want to change for my modded one is this XR API layer. Uh, so you download my zip from this link. I will trade to you. Uh, download this will pretty sure will do a false alarm because it's no actually it did not all right uh usually dlf files are a big no-no for uh google drive it may be drop a false alarm here but if you virus check it it's clean also there's a batch file it's a simple batch file which robocopy from here to see program files open xr to kit that single dll so you just double click and that will copy and overwrite it for you or you do it manually as i did the next thing you should do is go here start the companion and this uh, page by default there are like f1 f2 variant in the intuitive on screen managed hotkeys and unless you have to do and use control left up down right i really advise you to change to up down left right so while in game you just press control down which will open the screen and from there you can navigate with control up down left right so it's very intuitive uh, if there's an issue you can use safe mode here and then it loads the base setups or base defaults or you can manually disable enable it for any game or every game in case you are running a game which does not have native openxr implementation you have to use a program called openvr composite what it does it will change basically you don't even need to install steamvr so it will change the api and redirects it to openxr completely so it turns goes around steamvr completely for that you have to search for openvr composite in google first gitlab page by xenix very nice guy probably thanks very much for making this flashbang of the page oh my god you scroll down and search for per game installation i tried system-wide installation it did not work for me so you just download the 64-bit it will download a dll and the easiest way to find because in the description it says you have to uh, override the open vr api dll you the easiest way is to just go steam right click manage browse local files and up here you type in open vr and it will show you the place of the dll uh, no you don't open it you go one above it and here you can find the OpenVR API. I usually rename it to back. I think you can only do that in Total Commander or any other, so not in Windows. Uh, but yeah, just rename it to something. Oh, you can rename it to back and copy the OpenVR API DLL here in place of this one. And after that, you just go to Steam, play, start in v, uh, steam vr mode and it will does not start steam vr it will start in open xr and you can use the toolkit the same way as in native open xr games i tried it it works and um, i had decent performance in it so good good choice i hope this video and the toolkit will be very helpful for all of you especially with ac evo which is very hard to run and if you find any kind of bug or have an improvement idea, I'm not that good a programmer as the original ones, but I can tweak a few things. Uh, send a message on YouTube. Also, thumbs up, subscribe, everything usual. 
and have a lovely evening. Goodbye.